Hello, welcome to DIY Family Projects. Stick around, we're gonna show you how to do hollow wall anchors. Hello, I'm Alan Huber at uh, Home Code Lumber and Hardware. I'm the product lead for Plumbing Electrical, but today I'm going to be showing you some hollow wall anchors, what they're good for, what you can hang with them, what you're not supposed to hang with them. And we're going to start off, first of all, every house built nowadays has hollow wall. It's sheetrock or drywall over two by four studs, so the walls will be hollow. Uh, it's okay for hanging lightweight pictures, you know, anything 20 pounds and under. Um, heavy TVs, cabinets, shelving should go directly into those 2x4 studs. Anything in the between, you can hang with hollow wall anchors. And we're going to show you about 11 different ones today and uh, how they're installed, what they're good for. Uh, we're going to start with the first anchor, this little expand it. It's just a plastic tube, basically. You have to drill a hole in the sheetrock here, so we'll do that. Got to get our anchor in the hole, tap it in, flush with the wall. Then you can add your, uh, whatever you're hanging will be on the screw. Some of these anchors, you will have to purchase screws along with the anchors themselves. This is one of those occasions where you'll have to purchase a screw. So you can see how that just goes in. So that's, that's how an expanding type anchor will work. And it, uh, like I say, they're, they're very light duty just for the lightest of pictures. All right, moving on, we're gonna go to the plastic anchor next. Again, you have to drill a pilot hole for this one. And it'll probably take a little bit of a tap to get it in the wall. tap until it's flush and then you'll have again this is another anchor where you have to purchase your own screw wood screw or sheet metal screw whatever you have to hang so your hang can hang a picture right on there and this is one where as you as it, it's tightened down the wings spread on the back side of the wall to lock it in so now we'll move on to the next anchor, which is the ultimate anchor. This one does not require a, uh, a pilot hole. It just, you just tap this one into the wall. Hopefully I can do it here. And once it's in the wall, then you add your picture or whatever you're hanging. All right, now your picture will be hung on that. And once again, I'll flip this around so you can see how that has spread open. The screw spreads that open on the inside and helps lock it into the wall. And the next one, again, you don't need to drill a pilot hole for these easy anchors. They're made to just push into the sheetrock and you just start twisting them in and they will eventually pull themselves right on in. Just do them to the flush of the wall, and that's in. And then you just add your uh, picture hanger screw to it. And to speed things along, I think these are strong enough where... Now those do not spread open on the back side there, but the threads are so large they hold rather well into the drywall. And just as an example, here's a, here's a plastic version of the same thing. Easy anchor, so I just twist it into the sheetrock here. And 
and catches those big threads right there. Just pulls itself right in until it's flush. And add your picture frame right to that. I'll try to go a little faster here with this. So that'll be similar on the back side to that to the metal one. It just comes through with those big threads. Now, for something a little bit different and a little bit more holding power, they have the snap screws. And these go in just like those easy anchors do. Let's see if I can get it going here. Go into the drywall just without a pilot hole. They pull themselves in with those big threads. Just the same as the Easy Anchor does. I'll add the, the, whatever you're hanging to the screw. Again, you got to purchase the screw separately here. Let's now, the difference is on these snap screw models, as you'll see on the back, they do actually spread open. They actually split and provide extra holding power than the regular easy anchors do. So we've done the easy anchors and the snap screw. We're going to go to molly bolts next. These will need a pilot hole. And hopefully got the pilot hole big enough where we can tap these in. And then you just turn the, the, these come with their own screws in here. So we'll just tighten that. Until you feel some resistance. Then you can back this bolt back out. And you can hang your picture or whatever you have there on the the screw. And you can see on the back side of this one how they the little ears flatten out against the back side of the wall and hold it hold it in place. So. Then as an example there's an I'll do another one that's similar. It's hollow drive. it in and then we'll drive it screw tight to expand on the back side and you can back the screw back out hang whatever you want right there now we're going to the toggle bolts, which will require a little bit bigger drill bit here. So we'll put a bigger bit in. And again, we'll drill a pilot hole with our bigger bit. And the way these plastic wing anchors work is you push them in and fold them up into, so they can go fit in the hole. And tap them in. flush and then uh, it's ready to put a screw in and hang the picture. Again this one will, will require to buy screws separately or you can buy a little box full of the screws. Once you have the screw in there you can hang whatever you need on it and that will also spread out. Those little wings will spread out to lock it to the wall. And now we're going to have to change bits again and go to a bigger half inch bit here for these bigger toggles here. So quite a bit big hole for these toggle type. That 
metal toggle, just spring it spring loaded, push it together, and let's see if we can get it to go through this hole here. Once once it gets going, it'll go in, you push it into the wall, and those you hear a snap, the meaning they uh they opened up on the back side, and you may need to keep a little tension pulled on these against as you tighten it. Otherwise, the toggle starts spinning on the back, so you might need a little tension on this one as you're tightening your uh, picture or whatever you're hanging to the wall. Now, the, the problem with these is if you ever remove the bolt from the center of the toggle from the wall, the toggle will fall down inside the wall, so they're not really reusable. And so then finally we'll move to this snap toggle here. It takes a big pilot hole. And you'll have to buy your own machine screws for this. Turn the uh, toggle in line, put it through the hole, and once it's through, you can push it all back equal here on the handle, which which basically, if we can look on the back side, has made the uh, toggle go crossways behind the wall. Once it's done that, you can hold out and you slide this little ratcheting piece up. Try to get that into the drywall as flush possible there, and as tight as possible, and then you can just snap off the uh, outer plastic pieces, and it's ready to uh, hang your picture or shelving or whatever on the bolt like that. You can see how again how that looks like from the back side. The machine screws come through and locked down on the uh, the, the more you can uh, tighten the plastic piece down and ratchet that up the better holds. So there we have a selection of different hollow wall anchors that we sell there at Homeco Lumber and Hardware. You can pick up all these supplies at Homeco Lumber and Hardware and we also offer curbside pickup or free in-town delivery. And you can get more information at myhomeco.com. Thank you.